The 1978 NFL season witnessed one of the most memorable games in Week 11 when the Kansas City Chiefs faced off against the San Diego Chargers. Held at the Chargers' home stadium, this venue, originally known as San Diego Stadium when it opened in 1967, underwent several name changes over the years. With a final score of 23-29 in favor of the San Diego Chargers, the game's ending was nothing short of cinematic, embodying the unpredictable nature of football. The stadium was packed to the brim, with fans eagerly anticipating a fierce competition. The energy was palpable, setting the stage for an unforgettable showdown between two determined teams. The Kansas City Chiefs was their head coach, Marv Levy, a man known for his strategic acumen and ability to inspire his players. Under his guidance, the Chiefs had developed a reputation for being a tough, resilient team, always ready to battle until the final whistle. The quarterback for the Chiefs, Mike Livingston, played a crucial role in navigating the team's offense, showcasing his leadership and skills on the field. On the opposite sideline, the San Diego Chargers were coached by Don Coriel, a visionary in the world of football coaching. His innovative approach to the game, particularly his passing strategies, had earned him the nickname Air Coriel. Dan Fouts, the Chargers quarterback, was the embodiment of Coriel's offensive philosophy. With his precise passing and strategic thinking, Fouts was a central figure in the Chargers' attack. The game itself was a roller coaster of emotions, with both teams displaying tremendous skill and determination. Key players for the Chiefs, including their star running back and defensive leaders, made significant contributions, keeping the team in contention throughout the match. Similarly, the Chargers roster was filled with talent, with players like John Jefferson, a wide receiver whose athleticism and catching ability were second to none, making critical plays. The game progressed, it became a showcase of strategic brilliance and individual talent. The Chiefs and Chargers exchanged leads multiple times, highlighting the competitive spirit of both teams. Fans were treated to an exhibition of top-tier football, with every play adding to the growing suspense. The climax of the game arrived in overtime. With the score tied and the clock ticking down, the Chargers found themselves on the Kansas City 14-yard line. In a moment of high tension, Fouts, under immense pressure, mistook the play clock for the game clock. This near-costly mistake could have ended the Chargers' hopes, but Fouts quickly recomposed himself. In the dying seconds of the game, with the atmosphere in the stadium reaching fever pitch, Fouts made a decision that would etch this game into NFL lore. He connected with John Jefferson in the back of the end zone for the game-winning touchdown. This play was not just a testament to the skill and composure of Fouts and Jefferson, but also to the innovative offensive strategy of Coach Coriel. The aftermath of the game saw a mix of jubilation and heartbreak. For the Chargers and their fans, the victory was a moment of sheer ecstasy, a dramatic win that showcased the team's resilience and talent. On the other hand, the Chiefs and their supporters were left to ponder what might have been, despite their valiant effort and the thrilling performance they put on. 1978 Chiefs vs. Chargers game remains an unforgettable highlight in NFL history, showcasing the sport's sheer unpredictability and exhilaration. For more epic sports stories, hit subscribe. Catch you on the next one.